In this video, we're going to take some time to learn how to do deployment using a web archive file. Now, web archive files are useful for many reasons because, first of all, they allow us to easily compress and control all of the contents for our entire project into one file. And it allows us to very easily integrate a way that we can deploy the web application without having to do very much configuration at all. So we'll start where we left off last time where we had renamed our Hello World servlet to HWS. I just want to make sure that that's where we're at because we don't want to have a conflict when we have the name and we're going to save our web archive file with the real project name. So we don't want to have that conflict. So you could actually delete the HWS or you could delete the Hello World if you had it there. We don't really need it at this point. And so what I want to do first is go back into Eclipse. So here's our Hello World servlet project in Eclipse. And there are a couple different ways to go ahead and actually export this to an archive. One of the easiest ways is just to right click on the actual project name itself at the project top and select export. And then we're going to create what's called a war file, a web archive file. This will tell us the web project that we want to use, which is the only one we have right now is Hello World servlet. So if you had multiple projects open, you might have to select the one you want. And let's just save it directly on the desktop for now. And we'll save it to the hello world servlet.war. Now, once again, the name of this project is going to be very important. The nice thing about a web archive file, though, is we can name this whatever we want, and we can just rename it when we drop it into the container to what it needs to be. You can keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and save this web archive file, the hello world servlet.war, to the desktop. We'll finish that, leave all the default options selected. And then we should have on our desktop now a hello world servlet war file. So let's go ahead into our web apps directory and make sure once again, the two things that are important is that Tomcat is not started and that your server is not started as well in Eclipse. So make sure both those are stopped. You can just double check that real quick and they are. And then drop into your web apps folder where you would have created the folder. You can either move it or copy it. I'm just going to copy it so I have another copy of it just in case something goes wrong. Once I've dropped that war file, I've deployed my application. Now all I need to do is start my container. We'll do this and we'll show this side by side so we can see what happens. You'll note that right now we have the HWS is still there, which is irrelevant at this point, but we have basically nothing else in here. We are going to go ahead and start our Tomcat server. And if the web archive is created correctly and the Tomcat server starts without error, what you'll see is that the application is automatically then deployed and our information is exactly where we need it to be without us having to do anything else. So obviously, deployment through the web archive file is much easier. And the nice thing about it is it will create the directory structure under whatever you name this war file. So if I had named this HWS, it would have created the HWS directory. And of course, once we're up and running, it's just a matter of making sure things work. So of course we're up and running and let's go ahead to our start servlet. Once again, we have successfully been able to deploy.